What, What is up, up everyone? everyone? Welcome, Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, Good Hearts and God Sense. My name is Simon, Good Heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. With that said, let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a glitter dust effect in Canva. I'm sure everyone is familiar with glitters. Glitters are small reflective fine particles that come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. They are used widely for decorations for cards, invitations, costumes, masks, face paints, and so much more. They are very pleasing to the eye because they give sparkles, they shimmer, and even produce a colorful spectrum when exposed to light. Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to create a glitter dust effect. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. To start, get your subject image from photos or uploads. Since our effect for today is about glitter dust, therefore I need to use here a subject image that is something bright, magical, more fantasy-like portrait appropriate for glitter effect design. So I already have one prepared for you from uploads. I will go to uploads and click my subject image. I got this image from Canva's photo stock library also, using the keyword, Beautiful Fairy. Now, using this image, I will duplicate it. And I will set the other one as my background. Then, as for this duplicated image, I will now remove its background because I need to retain the fairy only. So I will remove the background of this image by using the background remover. Click this image, go to edit image, and click on background remover. If you are a pro version user, you can automatically remove the background under edit image. If you are a free version user, you can use the free alternative background remover like remove.bg. You can find in the description box below the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free and you can cancel it anytime you want, hassle-free. Going back, after removing its background, click Apply. Next thing I will do is I'm going to resize this image to occupy the whole page. I will pull it from its corner and make sure it overlaps exactly with the background. After that, I will lock it. Wonder why I need to duplicate the image and remove the background of the top layer? It is because I want to put glitters on the wings of the beautiful fairy without covering its skin or its dress. As if the glitter dust are circling in her body. That's why I need to duplicate the fairy so I can position later on the glitter dust at her back. Okay, this is now good with me. Let's now create the glitter dust effect. I will go to elements. Search in the search bar the keyword Colorful 
glitter, texture, shimmer, illustration. Hit enter. Then go to graphics. And you will see here so many options to choose from. I will scroll down to find the glitter overlay that I want to use. This one, showing you the keyword Glitter Texture. I will click it and use it in the design. Finding keywords is hard and time-consuming and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known and deep searched to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs. Going back, I will flip this element vertically. I will go to the flip button and click on flip vertical. And then I will apply some effects to it to make it glow. Using this overlay, go to edit image Scroll down and find the color mix effect. This one. Let's just wait for the effects to load. And then click see all. And choose the marmalade color mix effect. Awesome. After that, click apply. Let's just wait for the effect to load. Once it's fully loaded, select again the element and go to edit image. This time, find the photogenic effect. Click see all. And you will see so many options here to choose from. I will scroll down and find the vivid section. And under it, I will choose Aria. After that, I will click Apply. After that, let's position it at the bottom part of the image. And then, you can resize it based on your preference. I positioned it at the bottom part of my design page as if the glitters are climbing up the plants where the fairy sits. This is one trick to do when applying the glitter dust. You can apply the color mix and photogenic effects to make it pop. Now, we need a different kind of glitter dust and this time, we will place it on her wings. So I will go again to elements. And I will scroll down again. To find the perfect glitter dust that I want to use for her wings. This one. Showing you the keyword glitter texture. I will click it and use it in the design. Now, I will show you another way on how to make this glitter dust shine even more. Using this element, go to edit image, scroll down and find the shadow effect. This one, click see all, and under it choose the glow shadow. Click again to see the settings and adjust the following settings to size 1, 
Transparency 100, Blur 11, and change the color to Bright Yellow. Then click Apply. Next, using the same element, go again to Edit Image. Find the photogenic effect. Click See All. And find the warm section, this one. Under Warm, choose Capri. See how our glitters look like. They are now glowing and magical to look at. I will then position this overlay in the wings of this beautiful fairy. Watch me do it. Done! This is now the final look of the design I created using the glitter dust effect in Canva. As easy as that. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Goodheart VA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Godsent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!